All right, hey guys, my name is Joshua Fryer, and today I'll be reading Thea Harvey, The Future of Terror. From the gable window, we shot at what was left, gargoyles and garden gnomes. I accidentally shot the generator, which would have been hard to gloss over in a report, except we weren't writing reports anymore. We ate our gruel and watched the hail crush the hay we'd hoped to harvest. I found a handkerchief drying on a hook, and without a hint of irony, I pocketed it. Here was my hypothesis. We were inextricably fucked. We killed all the inventors and all the jesters, just when we most needed the humor and invention. The lake breeze was lugubrious at best. Couldn't lift the leaves. As the day lengthened, we knew we reached the lattermost movement moment. The airlift wasn't on its way. Make believe was all I had left, but I couldn't help but see there was no we. You were a mannequin, and I've been flying solo. I thought about how birds can turn around midair, how the newbie branch has no notion it might need a shell. Swell, I ate the last Napoleon. It said onward on the packaging. There was one shot left of my rifle. I polished my plimsolls. I wrapped myself in a quilt. So this is how you live in the present. Now, to me, this story was about, um, I'm guessing, a guy in a like futuristic war zone. Um, that's what I took from it. At first, I didn't know what was going on. I just started from the beginning. Um, it said from the gable windows. And from what I know about gable windows, they're like high up in attics or normally around the attic area. So I was like, he's they might be hiding or they're just playing around. Because they said they were shooting at gargoyles and garden gnomes. Now, you wouldn't normally shoot at gargoyles, but I could see a garden gnome, maybe. Me being from the country, we shoot at anything. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, he said he accidentally shot the generator, so I was like, okay, maybe they're using live ammunition, so it could be more of a war zone, I guess, or something military. And then they said they were writing reports, so yeah, it just kept going into the military theme. Um, he said we ate gruel and watched the hail crush the hay we hope to harvest, so I'm, so I'm guessing it's really important that they get this stuff, and it's in a cold winter um, time. Let's see what else. Um, they said he pocketed the handkerchief that was drying on the hood without a hint of irony. So I'm guessing life's pretty hard right now. I mean, just take whatever you can. I mean, you can say they, they were fucked, so they're fucked. Um, they killed all the inventors and jesters, and I guess everything was just drab because they said everything was lugubrious. For those of you that don't know what lugubrious means, it means sad or dismal. So, the time was just sad. True story. <laughs> and um, they just kept thinking about the day. Like, thought about random things that you normally wouldn't ever think of, like. Um, he talked about a newbie branch, which was a sea slug. Um, so why would you think about a sea slug at all? I, I don't know. I wouldn't think about a sea slug. Or um, why birds just can turn around midair. Like, I wouldn't think about that unless I was in a really depressed state or something that I didn't have time for. I mean, I'd have to be pretty bored. So, yeah, I'm guessing he's just in a military, futuristic type war zone, and life's really hard. And the stir slang just lets me know that they were waiting on a slightest, slight bit of hope um, with the airlift. But he was mad at the, that there was no more weed. So I'm guessing he had a companion of some sort, but I'm not sure if that would be male or female, but, uh, or whether it was just make-believe, because it's like, 
to me, it just says you were a mannequin and I had been finding Sulla. So I'm guessing he just like kind of made up somebody to kind of like Will Smith in I Am Legend. How he had the mannequins to talk to. So I'm guessing it's something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's pushing forward. He's just really thinking about the day in itself over and over. He said, the polish, like I have one shot left my rifle. Polish my plimsolls, which are his shoes, and he wraps himself in a quilt, and he just thinks about how this is how he lives in the present. So, that's my interpretation. Hope you liked it.